Rocket Saga. My name is Ilkan Biesma, also known as EJ. So yes, you guys, this is the first time me filming with my new camera, and so far it is awesome. But uh, I need to get used to it, so here and there it may be a little bit off. Uh, but it does allow me to wear my uh, wireless mics again, which is awesome, I have two, so mics. But anyhow, um, let me know, if you are wearing a headset and you get only uh, sound from one ear, the left or the right uh, side, please let me know so I can uh, look into it. It should be fine, but who knows. Anyhow, that's it and done. This video is uh, going to be all about this uh, beauty right up here. Uh, it's my fail that last year, believe it or not, had 18 spikes in bloom all at the same time. And yes, I did make a video about it, so you know I'm not lying. And the year before, it had 13 spikes. So this one is uh, really likes to bloom, but it needs to be uh, repotted. It's a, it's a mini fail, but it's fairly big. It has a big root system, but I saw the other day that there are some roots inside of the pot that are dead now, just old roots. Uh, and there are a lot of uh, roots, aerial roots, on the outside of the pot, and she has a lot of growing tips. Those roots are not that big yet, so I really want to take uh, advantage of that and put it uh, above the pot so that the new roots can uh, grow in, uh, into the pot very easily. And I thought, because this is a fairly special one, um, I never had a fell that had so many uh, flower spikes. Plus it is uh, very nice, it's small, but it has so many roots, so I thought this is a nice one to film, I, I hope. So uh, let's uh, get to my up potting table and uh, have a close look at this one and uh, take it from there. So let's go. <laughs> so here we are at my up potting table. As you can see now up close, it's quite a plant, it's obviously a mini, a mini fail, but uh, yes, it's quite, quite large. Hanging completely over the pot. <laughs> so yeah, we need to push her back into the pot so those beautiful new green roots, green tips can find their way into the pot. So that's the plan for today. Okay, let's see, because first of all, of course, we need to take it out. I hope I can zoom in. The quality of this, uh, this video making should not be better because of my new uh, camera. So I will see if I can zoom in a little bit. Uh, like I said, uh, I need to check uh, some things, but I hope I will do fine. Anyhow, here we go. And um, I already know there are some black roots in there. Oops, there was a root attached. And but luckily we have quite a lot of nice green roots in here as well. But we do have some older roots, and you can see some that I did take the development off the other day. So yeah, this, uh, this definitely uh, needs a nice uh, up potting cleaning up session. So let's do that. And therefore, like, like I said, we first need to take it out of the pot. So yeah, we have a lot of roots. It's going to be challenging, but maybe who knows? She will come out fairly easily. I will put it to the side and make some noise. Yeah, it's coming out fairly easily, I believe. So slowly but surely. I'm pushing it out, pulling it out, I should say. My water gauge is stuck, and I believe somewhere, maybe in the center. Ah, there we go. Well, there was the pot, and I will uh, reuse the pot. I don't have a, a bigger pot currently. So I will uh, reuse the water meter as well, the water gauge, I should say. I will clean it up in a minute, but I will do that off camera. Let's see if I can lift it. Look at that, there we go. Water roots, right? <laughs> a lot of those, <coughs> I'm sorry, a lot of those were uh, above the pot. And a lot of those were in. But yeah, I see a lot of dead roots, so I need to clean it up. Um, I will re reuse this media, but uh, like I said, first of all, we need to clean it up a little bit. So I will adjust the camera a little bit so I know that you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> so this should be better. Let me see. There are my scissors. So yeah, quite some uh, dead roots. And that was to be expected. This one has been in this pot for about four years. 
and it was a time where the pH was off, it was incredibly low and then sometimes you lose some roots but like I said we have a lot of them oh this one is not even that, it looked like it so I'm going to take the velamen off as much as I can around in circles but no we will getting there are getting there yeah look at that what a roots that is fine so I'm going to clean it up now a little bit and then uh, I will see you in a minute again so yeah this is what we took off <laughs> see all that venom and all rotting material so those can definitely go Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for, I think, getting it uh, back in this spot. So yeah, just to give it a quick uh, rinse underneath the tear, just to clean it up a little bit. Um, hmm, maybe I can do it like this. Is this in frame? Yes. Um, uh, let me check. I can find a small one. There we go. Let's see you guys, let's see if we can put it back. I need actually the, this needs this pot needs a wick so and we still have it here, the Cintiq, but I need to get it through the holes again. So it can do its job. There it is. So let's do that first quickly. Before we do anything else. Just there. You can see it's now coming out of the bottom of the pot. So I can do this job again. Watch what I'm doing. I hear some. Yeah, I did break this one, sadly. Pay attention, please. Let's see. Here comes the puzzle. Oi. <laughs> oh, this one should probably be in a bigger pot. Roots coming out. This is excellent old roots. How can I miss that? Where is my scissors? There we go. With my left hand, I'm right handed, but there we go. Okay. Hit go. Okay. Um, yeah, or I need to put it more upright like this. Because I have quite a high humidity, I can do this. The roots will find a way. Yeah, I think that is 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 it. That's the only way I think to uh, a pot is there. Some it may look like a mini bar. It's gone now. It's really standing on its own now. <laughs> Let me adjust the camera a little bit so you can see it a bit better. There we go. So yeah, but you can see the roots can find their way in now. So I think that I'm going to leave it like this. So it looks a little bit strange because it was growing towards the light, more in, into the back. Let me see you guys. You see? So it's now facing the other way, but it's okay. It will adjust itself. But yes, yeah, you can see we have quite some uh, new roots here there and there and there that are now above the pot and going into the pot as you can hopefully see over here so i think that i'm going to leave it like this yeah pretty sure i will do that so i need that uh, water gate back in so i know how much water is in the pot 
Um, this one needs to go to a hole as well. Mm. Next challenge. Next challenge, but we should succeed. I quickly check. Do you go through the hole? Can you see what I'm doing? Not sure. I'm just going to lay it down. Yep, yeah, there it goes. Almost, there it is. I hope you can see it. This part needed to come to the bottom. Now I need to lift it up again. Oh. There goes the water gauge, but it will stick now. Because it cannot go any further. You cannot see it, but it's off camera. But there it is. You see? I will pull it up. Actually, let's see if this works. Yeah. I think it does. Yeah, you guys. If you rip a big arcades like this, it's a bit of a puzzle. How do you do things? <laughs> this should be it. Yes, you guys, we are there. So yeah, I'm going to take uh, some media back. I was, it was in this media already, and uh, there are some good bacteria in there and some old roots. <laughs> I will get the old roots out, of course. But yeah, I believe there are also plenty of good uh, bacteria in there, like I said, so I will take whoops, advantage of that and just put it back in. I must, oops, I must say, this doesn't happen often, that where a plant does completely stand on its own because of the amount of roots, it's beautiful. And of course, I do break some here and there. Poor thing. Luckily, has quite a quite a few, but still, I hate breaking roots. I do hate it. But if there are so many, it's hard not to. Go. Yes, that was the floor. Yeah, that's right. Clean it up later. Let's give this a bit of a shake. There we go. Actually, we find some air gaps. I don't mind that at all, especially with my fails. Not sure if you can see it, but here, this part is barely any media, but I will leave it like that. I love the air gaps. And uh, I love it because my plants love it, don't get me wrong. So, um, that is okay. And if you leave uh, air gaps, of course you want a lot of media to still be in contact from up to the bottom, otherwise you will lose your wicking uh, effect. But I, I know how much I can, can do and how much I need to get it to wick. But that's basically coming from experience. You will, uh, you will get to that point if you uh, pr practice, if you uh, grow these, uh, your arc in this, this uh, sort of setup. But yeah, I know a lot of growers say you don't need, uh, you cannot use the air gaps and otherwise it will not wick. I'm, 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 I'm not agreeing with that 100%. And especially with my fails, my fails do love it so much. I have an extra bit of air in there. And I have a wick, so there's an, enough water. Enough water. Again, don't forget I always have high immunity. That's, that, that saves a lot of problems. Because otherwise, if it's very dry, of course, this medium will have a hard time to start completely wick and keep it damp up here, on top of the pot, because of all the air gaps, perhaps. But I don't have that problem. I have the opposite. Too much humidity from time to time. So I always need to be out on the look for mold, etc. Yeah, that's, that's how, that is uh, how high it is here, the humidity. It's really high, really, really high. But if you make it work, you can take uh, quite advantage of it. And that's what I'm tr doing, trying to do. <laughs> I have a lot of area roots and they keep on growing. So that's why I can leave it like this. Those roots will find their way. I'm pretty sure they will. 
So and meanwhile you guys, I think I have it nicely put in the pot, so I will give it a bit of a layer with pebbles. And I'm oops, that's a bit of something in there. I'm using these very large ones again because they allow for a lot of air coming through. So these are the big stones. And I have a different scoop because the other one I used is here in the media, so it's wet. And you never know, even though I think this is a very healthy plant, you never know. So I will clean it up. So I switch from, from scoops, I keep calling scoops. I'm not completely sure what the actually English term is. Oops. Go. I love these stones, I love pebbles and rocks. I'm not completely sure why, but there's something about them that's so beautiful. Oops. Um, let's put a few in here, and there is it. So what I do now, you may know that if you want to learn on my channel, but I will give this a flush with our all water and seaweeds. Yes, you hear that correctly, a flush. I don't flush my orchids normally, but only after a repotting, just to get the dirt out. And we even managed, you guys, this is quite funny, to just clean it up. I'm sorry, I was just a bit distracted because of this. Uh, let's put my finger underneath it. Can you see that root already coming out? <laughs> That's nice. I didn't plan on that, of course. It's a nice, beautiful root tip. Anyhow, so yeah, we have quite a lot of roots. Sadly, I did broke one. Ah, oh, another one. Just those tips. Not sure if you can see it there. Just the tip of the root. So sad. It happens, I know. But they will branch. Whoops. I just. Don't touch it. Don't touch it anymore. <laughs> and, uh, I will flush it and uh, I will see you uh, guys in the greenhouse again. <laughs> and of course, before I forget, here is her tag. Maybe it does have a name now on its own, but this is the cross that both parents. Not sure if that is in focus. Yeah, there we go. Sorry. So, and here is the old and new repotting date. So, 1020. So, 2020, I did repot it uh, probably into the system. I'm not, I don't remember correctly anymore, but. And then 924. So that's a new tag. So let's put that in. <laughs> and we are back in the greenhouse. So there she is. Like nothing ever happened. Well, it does look a little bit different, of course, as you can see. It's now uh, pointing upwards, very close to the light. This one enjoys a bit of light. And she will adjust, I think. She will start to lean over again. Oh, yeah, I did cut myself earlier this, uh, <laughs> this morning. Anyhow, um, and as you can see, the roots are nicely above the pot, and yes, it does have a cakey on one of those flower spikes. And you probably already saw it, but it also has a basil cakey. So we will have we have some leaves there. That's from a from a basil cakey, and this is actually the mother plant herself over here. So yeah, but you can see the roots, and they're in the middle of the screen now. Is one that I did? Uh, no, it's not that one actually. Where is it? You can barely see it. Yeah, I, it, it, it was that one, I'm sorry. You see there's the tip gone from the, in the middle of the screen, this one. Yeah, my camera decides to... There we go. <laughs> yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So we still have some spikes on there. And I'm, I'm very curious to see if she's going to make some new spikes in the near future. Who knows? Anyhow, it's now freshly up out of We had quite some uh, dead development as you can s as we just saw. That's all out. I did give it a nice flush. And yeah, we're almost four years later. So uh, let's hope this one can grow on for another four years. And then I might get some bigger pots, something like this, with a, actually a bucket for her. But let's hope and let's uh, try our best to grow this, uh, this plant as well, as the best as, as we can, basically. <laughs> So you guys, a nice up-potting. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I think it's uh, it's nice to do some up-puttings, re-puttings on, uh, on quite some special plants. And this one is absolutely special, of course. I never ever had one that has 18 spikes. So uh, yeah, special. Beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, I hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye-bye. <laughs>